What's going on everybody? Long Island Fish Guy here. First video for the channel. Uh, this video is basically going to be an overview of the tank. You can see a little reflection of me. Um, this is a 55 gallon. Uh, I bought the Aquion kit about a month ago. I had a 10 gallon set up before this. Um, basically just to get the tank started. Uh, I had a tank for many, many, many years um, before this. took probably about a five-year to, um, let's say about a five-year hiatus from the hobby, and I'm back stronger than ever. Um, so I started off with a 10-gallon tank from my girlfriend's dad because his fish all died and he was just done with it, so he gave it to me. And I said, you know what, this is a good opportunity for me to get started. But as the fish guy that I am, I... Uh, couldn't just settle for a 10 gallon, so I had to get a 55. Um, so just a quick overview. This is 55. Right there I have my... So what came with the kit was that heater right there. That's a preset heater set to 78 degrees. That heater over there is a Marine Land um, that I had for the 10 gallon. You know, there's rainbow rock, regular substrate. I have um, uh, some some driftwood in there, which kind of lowered the pH a little bit, but the fish are all pretty adaptable to it. This is the this is they say Aquion um, 75, but it's basically the uh, 5575. Inside, I have the regular um, pads in there, but if you look here here and in here I have lava rock set up with some pantyhose and over here I have the um, uh, biological sponge so I have a lot of biological uh, filtration going on you know I have a pretty decent bio load so I kind of need it right here's this is just I know that this basically serves no purpose but this is the Aquion uh, 10 they say it's good for up to a 20 gallon tank, but I just bought it for my 10 gallon, and it did its job for a month that I had it. Um, but yeah, I basically had this for filtration purposes, um, just so you know, get more air circulated. And again, I have my lava rocks and my uh, regular pad. I love Aquion filters. I know that uh, Marineland is a little better in regards to uh, hang on the back. But I kind of like the, um, I know that a lot of people on you know, forums and on YouTube say that these are kind of useless, these holsters, but I don't know. If you look at the one on the 10 here, let me just cover that back up. I've, if you look at the 10, I'm going to try and get this a good, there's a lot of gook on that. And um, I kind of like that. <laughs> um, it doesn't exactly... Uh, doesn't exactly, you know, hurt the water flow, but uh, I mean, in my eye, it's 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 in my eyes, it's a great place for bacteria to grow on. Um, as you can see here, also, I'm not sure if you can maybe see inside there, but if you look inside there, the same stuff, the same type of gook, um, and that happened relatively quickly. Um, and it's not, you know, from food or anything because it wouldn't bypass the actual filter pad so those are the filters I'm kind of just learning a lot more about filtration because I didn't from years ago these are the hoods that came with it the LED hoods I know it's not good for keeping plants or anything like that but I don't really ever want to have plants in this tank just because I don't know much about it and don't really want to um, I, I do think, I'm a, I'm a big fan of them in tanks, I do think that they look really nice, it's just that it also involves a lot more upkeep, I mean I, I work a lot so I don't think I can ever maintain that type of upkeep for it, um, maybe later on down the road I can put plants in here, but as of right now I can almost confidently say that I will never have plants in a tank. But here we go. I'm just going to give you a little overview of the fish that I have. So here, these are the... I have six Danios in here. Four Giants. And I'm not sure of the species of the other one. They're kind of like albino-ish. 
I got them in here basically to just cycle the tank. And they did their job. And a lot of people are against fish cycling, but I was fairly confident that they were going to make it, and they did. Um, two months later, I have not lost, knock on wood, I have not lost a single fish um, from the cycle or you know anything really so far. I've had uh, these fish for probably about two months now. Um, so they're all strong, happy, and they eat t constantly. They're always chasing each other. And I like to keep them with the cichlids that are in this tank because it uh, just makes the tank a little more active. Um, they're always swimming around, and there's my Oscar. The, uh, the, I might have to use a different recording thing for this because the color, he looks horrible in regards to the color right now. He doesn't really look that bad. Um, this is my Jack Dempsey. There we go. Getting a little better color now. Um, he, when he went from the 10 gallon tank to the 55 gallon tank, and granted, I know Oscars can't live in 55, uh, in 10 gallon tanks, but, um, he, uh, he grew tremendously when he moved into this tank. It was, the 10 gallon tank was always going to be temporary. Um, but he drew, grew tremendously since he, uh, came into this tank. There's the Jack always coming in back into focus. Um... He hasn't really grown that much. Stomach is looking kind of big because I just fed them. Um, I have a jaguar cichlid. If you can see him, he always hides out by that filter. And I know whenever he's hungry because he, he, he has a very good gauge as to when to eat. <laughs> he uh, always comes out when he's ready to eat. When he's not, he's up there hiding. Um... This is definitely the Oscars tank. In the order I got them, I got the Oscar first, then the Jack Dempsey a day later. And then I would say about a month later, um, I got the Jaguar. And he's a little bit smaller. He's about an inch and a half now. The Oscar's about three inches. And the Dempsey's about two. So two and a half inches. Um, I was a little nervous. The Jaguar is definitely my favorite fish. I was a little bit nervous when I first got him because he was getting picked on a little bit, but never showed any signs of nips on the on the uh, fins or anything like that, so I was kind of confident that he could stay in here and hold, hold his own, and he is. I love the Jaguar to death, and, you know, I know that I do have a lot of cichlids in here that grow to be bigger sizes, and if, if needed, I will get rid of them uh, in regards to the Dempsey definitely would be going first. Then I would say the Oscar, even though I love Oscars, because I love the Jaguar so much. And you saw the Oscar attack there. He's not attacking a fish. I have a piece of cucumber in there. Let me see if I can get it from the side. I have cucumber in there for one of my fish that's currently hiding, and I have to try and find it. And it actually just put in the tank today, which I am super excited about. There we go. That, my friends, is a royal pleco. Um, just got them today. I am, let me get that back in front. There we go. I am, oh, Cory. Well, that's a new nip on that Cory. I have three Cory catfish. Um, I love Corys. And I know that people are saying, oh, you know, you can't keep Corys with cichlids. They're going to be lunch and you know, they're going to tear apart the stomachs of the, you know, cichlids. Not going to happen. Um, in my old tank, I had one quarry, grew to about three inches, with an Oscar that was probably about 10 inches, 11 inches, no problems ever. Um, I really don't foresee any issues, but granted, who knows. So there's the Royal Pleco. I love him. He's probably my favorite fish aside from the Jaguar. I just needed to get him. He was a little pricey, but it was a must-have fish in my book. Um, they eat driftwood, they eat, you know, any regular food. I have the cucumber in there right now for him. I'm going to leave it in there overnight and see the progress, even though the Oscar is eating up the driftwood left and right. Um, overall, the, the tank gets along. Uh, you know, the cichlids, you know, the Oscar, Dempsey, and Jaguar, they chase each other around. But other, if you look, the, ja the Dempsey right now is showing is, you know, nobody really has nips on them. Jaguar, uh, the Dempsey has a tiny nip on the back tail. I actually saw that happen. From the Oscar. Um, but yeah, that's a tank. Um, these little Cory cats are great. I love them. 
they're always working hard cleaning the tank for me um that's about it um i'm gonna be doing making videos probably about once a week i'd say maybe more maybe less this summer i do plan on getting a i'm using the 10 gallon again i'm gonna make a crayfish tank um granted i'm getting pretty antsy to do the tank so We'll see when it gets done, maybe sooner than later. I have all the equipment and everything set up. All I really need to do is just get the tank, get some water, and buy some crayfish. I know they're pretty territorial, so we'll see what happens. It should be interesting. Um, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you have any questions, leave them below. Look forward to some more.